Hi everybody, welcome to GT Coding. In this tutorial series, we are creating this website using Next.js. Now in this video, we will create this uh, categories list component. So let's get started. Now we need to add this categories list inside the home page. So let's go over here to the page.tsx file. And here instead of returning this h1, I'll just return a React fragment. And here for now, I'll just type div posts. And before the posts, we need to display the categories list. So let's go over here to components and let's create a component called categories list dot tsx. And let's type export default function categories list. And for now, let's return categories list. And let's go back to the page.tsx file and uh, let's add it over here. So I'll just type categories list and let's import it from components categories list. Right now, if you go back to our website, here we can see we have categories list. Now let's go ahead and uh, design this. So let's go back to the categories list component. Now here I have created this file called data.js and I have just created some dummy values over here. So we have some posts data which we can use in our post component. But if you scroll down, here we also have this categories data and here we have the ID and the name of the category. So let's use the data from this data.js file and later we will replace the data from the data from our database. So for now we'll just use this data for styling our component. So here first of all let's go ahead and import categories data from at slash data. And if you go ahead and uh, if you just console.log it over here, so just type categories data and let's open the terminal. And here we can see that the categories data is being displayed over here. Now, the only thing we need to do is loop through this data and uh, display them in our page. So I'll just delete this console log and I'll just remove this text and uh, let's go ahead and uh, loop through all the categories data. So let's tap categories data. And first of all, we need to check whether the categories data is available. So let's tap ampersand ampersand. And if it is available, then we need to type categories data dot map and we'll map through all the data and uh, let's return a link. And for each of the category, I'll just call it category. And now let's return a link. So we need to add all of this inside curly braces. And uh, here inside this return, let's create a link. And let's import it from next link. And here in this link, we need to type the category name. So if you go back to data.js, here we can see that for the categories we have name. So let's access this name. So let's type curly braces. And we are calling each of the category category. So let's type category dot name. And here we also need to add an href. So let's type href. And let's set the href to backticks. And here let's type forward slash categories. And in that, we need to have the category name. So if I hover over this, we can see that it says categories forward slash web dev at the bottom. And here we have categories forward slash programming. So here we need to type categories forward slash and the category name. So let's type dollar symbol curly braces category dot name. And now if you go back to our website, here we can see that all the categories are being displayed over here. Now let's style this. So first of all, let's go to the container division and uh, here let's type class name and let's set it to display of flex and let's set a gap of two and uh, let's also set the text to small. And uh, when we are on smaller screens, we want it to wrap down. So let's type flex wrap. Right now, let's go ahead and add some styles to the link. So let's type class name and uh, let's set the padding left and right to four padding top and bottom to one and rounded of medium. And let's set the background color to slate 800. And let's set the text color to white and cursor to pointer. And this is how the categories look. So it looks all right. And at the bottom left corner, you can see that the link of the categories is also displayed correctly. And with that, we have designed the categories list component. Right, so that's it for this video. In the next video, we will continue designing this page. And if you have any doubts, you can ask in the comments below. And if you like this video, please click on the like button. 
and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.